Farmer Reaper. Welcome back to the lab. So in this episode of the lab, we're going to talk about PO4, what it is, how it gets in your tank, and how we deal with it. Well, what is PO4? Well, to get it clarified, it's like the prime main uh, food source for any kind of cyanobacteria, hair algae, slime algae, that was nasty algae that we don't like that get in our tanks, that can smother out our corals and just eradicate and kill it your tank. It just doesn't look pleasing to your eye. You're looking for something that looks beautiful, clear, healthy. So one way you can deal with uh, PO4 is you can use a uh, Roa, Roa Foss. I run this here on uh, the Asgard tank, but I haven't been running it on any of these other tanks either. But that's why I want to show you guys how all this stuff works. And I ran it on my other tanks as well. Well, with PO4, it just it feeds that algae. So how do you deal with it? Well, you end up just using a, a small amount of uh, the Roa. You can put it in um, a nice filter sock bag like this. Or you can run it in a nice, uh, you can run it in a, like a Deltec reactor. That's what I'm using on uh, the Asgard tank. And I'm gonna hook up one here. I have one hooked up for it, and that's what we're gonna use to run the Roafoss. Or you can run it in a media bag. So that's a couple ways of doing it. It works really well. A lot of people don't have very large tanks, and you want to be able to you can run Roa. You just put a little bit of Roa in here. This stuff is. I'll show you guys what it looks like. It comes with the instructions, but it's a beautiful like uh, granular. Almost looks like coffee, like coffee. And you just put a little bit of that inside uh, your media bag and just throw it in a high flow area. So say you have a, like a nano tank, and everything's built in the back, you can just put a small amount of that, fold up that bag, just put it in a high flow area, and you're good, and clean up all that PO4 that's in your tank. Um, what's really good as well, when you're starting out new established tanks with uh, rock, everything, and you're gonna be doing that cycle, you should run some uh, Roa, and because a lot of, you, if you run, like a, say you have a, like a live rock you put in there, all live rock's not perfect, right? So you put that live rock in there, you mix your water, put it in, you're gonna have some die off, especially if you had to shift in from somewhere, you're gonna have that die off, so it's gonna increase all your PO4 levels. A couple other things, what causes PO4? Well, fish waste, um, fish slime, that's off their skin, um, overfeeding, um, different kinds of bacteria that die off in your tank cause PO4. I run the Asgard tank here about 0.01 to 2 and everything looks great. So what I want to do today guys is um, I have a test kit here. We're going to test uh, Asgard and we're going to test uh, Krypton. Um, I noticed with Krypton I have some uh, hair algae problems and I want to get rid of that and I want to introduce Roa to show you guys um, how it's going to take care of that problem. But what I want to do today guys is I know the Krypton tank, it doesn't look like it's doing as well compared to the Asgard. And what I want to do is I want to introduce Roa into that tank. I'm pretty sure uh, my PO4 is a lot higher compared to uh, Asgard here. I usually run this one here about 0.00 to 1. I try to keep it really low. And we're going to test these two tanks today to see what the PPM of PO4 is on Asgard compared to Krypton. I can just tell by just looking at the, how the corals are doing and I got hair algae uh, growing on all the pumps in there. So today I want to introduce the Roa and then we'll do a, another video come back up and we'll see how the tank is doing and we'll test uh, the PO4 and see how much it's dropped by then. And I introduced uh, last week, I introduced uh, the Polylab uh, Pro Carbon. It's really getting cleared up a lot. It looks great. So what we're gonna do is I end up, I have the, like the Delta F reactor, it's all filled up. First, we're going to test uh, the PO4 in both these tanks. We're going to write that down, and then after, we're going to introduce Roa, and then we'll do a follow up video, see how much it's dropped, and how well the tank's looking. All right, guys. So, what we need to do here is I got uh, my test kit. I need to take 17 milliliters. We're going to do some uh, speed up here so you guys can see. So, what I got to do, I got two syringes. We're going to keep these separate. I got two vials. We're gonna put 17 milliliters of water in each one, but I'm using two different ones here so I don't contaminate the tanks. Gotta get the air bubbles out. So there's 10. All right, so we got, we got Asgard and we got Krypton. So let's just set these here. So what we need to do now is I end up, uh, this is uh, RO water. This is our test to show compared to the other on this ring. So on the ring here, it shows the different parts of the PPM and that's how we match it up. So what we need to do is we need to take A and add 10 drops. One, 
2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We'll do one at a time. Cover on. Shake that for 10 seconds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Open it up. Then we add part B, two drops. One, two. Shake that for another 10 seconds. Surrey set the timer for six minutes. Setting the timer. Okay. All right. Six minutes. And six minutes. I said five, but it's six. So we let that sit for six. So that's uh, Krypton. So what we're gonna do is we just take the, the sample vial, place it in the middle, just like that. So what you do is you look you look from above to see what it's at, and then you match the color wheel underneath it to how many ppm is gonna be in here. Well, six minutes is up, I'm gonna bring you guys over here. You guys can check the vials out. So it looks like the Krypton tank is running around 0.08 ppm of uh, PO4. So I'm gonna mark that down and now we're gonna test uh, the Asgard that's running on ROA to see what it's all about. So come here, I'll show you. All right, so if you guys look in the test vials, you guys can see they're looking the same. So it's a 0.08 PPM of PO4. So if we come over to the Krypton tank here, so you guys can see I got some uh, hair algae problem that she's going on here. See that? So that's what I don't want. It doesn't look pleasant to the eye. I want that crystal look to it. So this is what we're gonna deal with to get rid of it. So we're gonna run some ROA. So when we come back, hopefully this will all be gone. And then hit this one's running on ROA. You see, no LG issues at all. So let's move on to the Asgard tank. So we have to do the same with this. Part A, 10 drops. Nine, 10. Now we're gonna add part B, two drops. Shake that up for another 10. All right, so we just got the sample we just did for uh, Asgard. I wanna bring you guys up close, check it out. So I'm looking here, if we move the wheel back and forth and you look through the, into the vials, Asgard looks like it's running between 0.00 ppm and 0.02 ppm. It's right in between there, so that's perfect. That's what I'm looking for. I can tell because by just looking at this tank, you can tell how healthy it is, and I can tell, you know, by uh, Krypton, the you know the PO4 is a little higher. It's not liking it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna introduce uh, the ROA. And we're gonna fix that problem up. But let's uh, let's. I want to bring you guys in here. You guys can check this out. So what you want to do is you want to look right down in the, in the the vials. You guys can see. They look, the comparison it looks pretty much the same. So yeah, you just by moving this wheel, see that's definitely not correct. So you move the wheel back the other way. So we're at the zero, move this way a little bit. Now as we move into the two. So it's very similar. So that's what I'm reading in between those two. So I'm happy with that. So I'm happy with all those readings for the PO4 in uh, the Asgard tanks, just what I'm looking for. So we just have to uh, get some ROA into uh, Krypton and we'll be good to go. So we could do the, either use the, the Deltec reactor way or just use uh, the, the media bag. And you know, media bags work perfectly fine. You just put this in a high flow area right near your pump or whatever and you're good to go. So for the upcoming video, we're gonna end up doing a video on see how I got rid of that hair algae and the, you know, the tank's all cleared up and the corals are looking a lot better and healthier. So thanks for tuning in this week, guys. It's all about ROA and how beneficial it is to have your tanks running perfect, crystal clear. And that's what we're all looking for. If you can have one product that can uh, make your tank maintenance uh, so much less, and the same thing, you don't have to do as many water changes as well, because a lot of people you get a high PO4, oh man, I got lots of algae issues. Well, even by doing water changes and you don't have a great RO system, you can still be introducing all that PO4 into your tank, all the phosphates, nitrates, all that kind of stuff. And as soon as it gets in your tank, your rocks, substrate, try to absorb that. But just try to run some ROA, it should be good to go and everything looks great. 
Thanks for tuning in this week, guys. Same time, same place next week. You never know what video is coming up again. And if you have any comments, please leave them below. Hopefully I can answer all your questions. So please subscribe and hit the like button.